So that's my Megalovania versus a KDA Pop Stars remix. And there's a technique I used that really made this whole remix possible. Uh, so check it out. I have both the vocals and the instrumental separated. And shout out to Riot for putting these things on SoundCloud. That's just amazing. So I had to make an edit to the instrumental. If you hear the original, uh, you'll hear it has big old snare drums in it. Hear these guys right here? So these do not line up with my drum and bass drum beat that I put into uh, my track. If we listen to them together, you'll get real quick why it doesn't work. It's kind of like chaos, like uncomfortable chaos. So the way I dealt with this, uh, because I don't have all the individual tracks that they made this track with, is I just took slices, like usually about an eighth note, and um, find the snares and just take a little a little snip of the song and just replace it, see? There's a there's another one. We'll just take a little eighth right here and uh, you could still hear that uh, the drum is there, but it's not so in your face. See, boom, boom, and uh, so check it out. So now it's, we've kind of extracted the snare drums from the original. See, pretty cool. It doesn't always, sometimes you gotta find like kind of interesting things like with this really big snare, I like to take the tail, replace it and then reverse it. And uh, this just has a cool like kind of sweeping effect. Yeah, and then we got another big boy and you know, we just take another chop of the song to replace it with. And we can kind of mess with the rhythm, and I did I, I did this manually for the whole song. It took a little over an hour, I think, to get through all of the things, but uh, the result is the remix that uh, that really, really works. Just a little quick tip. If you have any questions, let me know, because, uh, yeah, I'm here for you guys. <laughs>